Hi everyone, in today's video, I will explain a super useful Excel technique how to combine some ifs function with index and xmatch function to handle two dimensional tables for summing the data. If you have a table where data is arranged across both rows and columns, then some ifs function alone will not help. Some ifs function is built to handle vertical data, meaning one column for one criteria and one column for the values you want to sum. But in this example, we have a two dimensional table where we want to sum the sales of a specific product based on the month or reason or both. Now let's say I want to sum the sales for product B in February month. If you try to use some ifs alone, it will give you an error. So in this scenario, we have to combine some ifs with the index and xmatch function to get the required result. Select cell I5 type equals to some ifs open bracket the first parameter of some ifs is some range and in our case it is the sales data of the selected month in cell i4 now to dynamically get the month type index open bracket select data range from c3 to f18 press f4 comma type 0 for rows comma now to get the correct column number we will use x match function so type x match open bracket lookup value is in i4 so select cell i4 comma select range c2 to f2 press f4 closing bracket for x match closing bracket for index comma the next parameter of some ifs function is criteria range in our example we have to find sales of product selected in cell i3 so select the criteria range from a3 to a18 press f4 comma select cell i3 for criteria closing bracket press enter now in this function x match will first get the column number of the selected month then index method will return all the values in column 2 sum ifs function will sum the values where the product in column a matches with the cell i3 the output is the sum of sales value for the selected product in the selected month remember in the index function when the second parameter is set to zero it means that excel will return the entire column for the specified column number this allows you to return multiple values from the entire column instead of a single value from a specific row so in the function if you select match function and press f9 it will show the column number two if you select index function and press f9 it will show all the sales value for selected month now you can add multiple criteria in some ifs function in this example we have added reason also which you can select in cell i5 now in the sum ifs function after product criteria type comma select region range from b3 to b19 press f4 comma select i5 and press enter the function will show sales data of selected values of product month and reason if you found this video helpful Press thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Excel tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.